Hey guys, this is Cody Jones with Jangus Genetics LLC. And one of the biggest issues I had when I came home to the farm is trying to figure out what enterprises were going to make me the most money. And so I came back from Ghana. I got into a little bit of everything. I read all the regenerative ranching books I could get a hold of. I got into Salatin stuff, and he talks a lot about enterprises and uh, stacking enterprises. And so I had. Uh, broiler chickens egg layers rabbits uh, I did goats for a while and then I had sheep let's see what else do we have pigs had pigs for a while and I've always had the cattle since I came back but the hardest thing for me was to figure out what my future was and I was getting kind of burnt out on everything but when I'd sit down and try to figure out the money side of things I kind of came to the determination that I needed to make, you know, at least $5,000 on any enterprise that I wanted to keep. And with, I had like a hundred chickens, you know, like seven rabbits and, you know, uh, two pigs. So how do you translate that and figure out what you want to scale and what you're going to make money on? And the biggest issue I had with my conventional economics training from the university is that I was trying to allocate my uh, land and labor to each individual piece of the pie, to each enterprise or each business or section of business, whatever you want to call it. And so it really, I, I you know, I, it ended up just being process of elimination for me. But the better way to do it, and what I learned at, mainly from ranching for profit and uh, Dave Pratt's uh, turnaround story, is that you got to figure out your gross margins. And using a gross margin analysis is a really awesome tool. And what that is, you, you gotta understand just a couple things to figure it out. So let's say that our chicken business, our broiler chicken business is what we call an enterprise. It's just our everything that has to do. So you have to figure out how much money you expect to make. So we'll do it on 100 chickens because that's what I was raising. Figure we make $20 a chicken. So that's $2,000 on the broiler chicken enterprise. And so that's our, our gross income. And then you subtract your cost of goods sold or your direct costs is what they say in ranching for profit. And that's anything that you can allocate 100% to that business. So two things that you can't normally allocate to an enterprise is labor. So for me, I'm not just running the broiler chickens. I'm also doing the pigs, the chickens, the cows, the sheep, uh, you know, everything else. So you can't allocate your labor. The other, that's an overhead. The other thing is, is equipment. I didn't buy any specific equipment for a hundred chickens. So the four wheeler, the tractor, whatever you're going to be using to work with them, it, it can't be allocated. It becomes overheads. Then, uh, the land, you know, I'm going to run chickens over it. Then I was going to run sheep over it. Then I was going to run cows over it. So I can't allocate the land that becomes an overhead. And so our direct costs pretty much end up being feed, water, any kind of, I guess energy would be an overhead too. Um, so, you know, feed, water, the shelter, and then butchering costs and transportation costs, marketing costs. Those are really the only thing. So let's say that our direct cost there, our cost of goods sold is $15. Cattle are getting kind of noisy. They're grazing all around me. Um, so you got $15 in them. So to figure out your gross margin, you take your your total income, your gross income, which would be $20 minus your direct cost is $15. And our gross margin then is $5 per chicken. Well, when then, then the other confusing thing is, is how do you compare chickens to cows? And the only way that I can figure out to do it that's fair is on a per acre basis. And so this might make you a little sick if you wanna live in La La Land, hold your ears. But when I did the math on it, Salatin says you can run about 500 chickens per acre per year. And so five times 500 is $2,500 an acre. When I did the math on my cows, let's say you probably, most people aren't making money with their cows, but we're, we're in a regenerative business and we're, we're you know watching our costs, running low maintenance, low income cattle. Let's say we're making $200. You could use whatever number works for you. $200 gross margin for a cow after we get done with all our direct costs. And I'm running about three acres, three to four acres per cow. We'll figure three. So it's a little less than $70 an acre. So with chickens, you're making about $2,500 an acre. With cows, you're making about $70 an acre. That's what gross margin tells you. 
And so I know that if I have the opportunity to increase my chicken production, it's gonna make me a lot more money per acre. Now, there are of course some caveats to this. If you don't like chickens, don't run chickens. It's not gonna help you. But what I had was when I did ranching for profit was chickens, and, or sorry, I had sheep and cattle. I pretty well eliminated the other stuff at that point. And the sheep are at least twice as profitable, maybe four times more profitable than cows, depending on how you run your math. But I know they were at least twice as profitable for me on how I was doing it. So for me, that means my home farm, that I was comfortable running sheep and the dogs that I need to protect them, I need to get the fencing up on my, in my home farm and fill that with sheep as quickly as possible. Uh, I use my cows. They're still my major enterprise. They're still my main business, my main income source. And I don't think that'll ever change. I like cows. The registered side of things, it brings me a little in increase and in the uh, little bit of premium. And so my cows really aren't maybe necessarily that profitable, but uh, adding value to those calves becomes pretty profitable. And so we've got... So, so then I actually have multiple enterprises. I've got the grass-fed beef enterprise. I've got the... Uh, production bull enterprise, the female, the, the cow calf enterprise, the heifer enterprise. So I've got a lot of enterprises there and I use gross margin to figure out, you know, um, what, what the value there for me is and where I should grow and increase. So that's a, it's a cool tool, no matter what you're doing or what business you're in, you could use it on deciding what crops to grow. Uh, but it's, it's just a really good tool. And here, you know, here's my permission to tell you that, yeah, I understand that you could probably make a ton of money with goats if, especially if you got a lot of woods uh, if you don't want goats on your farm it's not going to help you to run the math on it you know some so it's your farm you get to run it the way you want to i'm running mine the way i want to i know that if i could put sheep on every acre i run i'd be more profitable i'd also have the stress of putting dogs everywhere fencing everywhere and uh, maybe that's something i will work at towards in the future but uh for now my i still like my cows they're a cool tool and i've putting the sheep where I know that I can contain them and, and, you know, run them effectively. So, uh, it's a tool in the toolbox. I wish I had had it, you know, back in the day when I was really trying to decide what to do and where to go, it would have simplified things a lot. And, uh, I hope that it, it helps you guys figuring out gross margins. I will link, there's a simpler, uh, ranching for profit video. I'll link in this, in this video, in the comments. And, uh, I would also check out the, uh, the Dave Pratt book, uh, a turnaround story it's uh, it, it shows you a lot of things that you may not think about as far as business goes uh in ranching on the ranch side of things and uh scaling up a lot of things that we really need to know and skills we need to know so hope this helps if you guys like this video like subscribe follow for more and we appreciate you